Hello viewers, welcome to Mchumo Reviews on NTV. Many thanks for joining us. And today I'm just looking at a really cool car, a 2013 version of the Audi Q5. So the Audi Q5 is a really great German masterpiece and I want us to have a look and get to know exactly what is going on and how this car is so that you can know more about it. Join me as we have a look. <laughs> so first of all, Audi Q5 falls under the category of a mid-size SUV or okay. you can say a crossover, you know, depending on how you want to call it. And Q5 is a really special car for me because it's one of my favorite cars actually. And, uh, you know, basically when Audi made this car, they had a great market because a lot of people, especially in the world, in fact the whole world, there's a lot of market for SUVs and uh, mid-size SUVs, the crossovers. And a Q5 is a special car because number one, this one is fitted with a 2000cc turbocharged engine. Okay. And uh, you're just gonna look at that even as you continue to uh, generally look and explore this car. Okay. And I'd love us even to start and look at the first thing that you notice when you enter the Q5, when you, when you just look at the Q5, is the daytime riding LED. They are so good and of course you get the fog lights. You've noticed, but Audi has really massive grills as you can see this sure, one here. Sure, sure. <laughs> it's massive and it's uh, really good. I love the way it is with the car plus the black, you know, the contrast is yeah. good. And right here, you have a small emblem, Quattro. So Quattro basically means the all-wheel drive version of this car and Audi offers this car in the front wheel and also the Quattro, so either two wheel or four wheel. But again, you know, you never go wrong with the four wheel drive, you know. So I love this Audi and you know, just as, as I told you, it's a very special car to me and I know most of you viewers who are watching are going to love this. And I just want us to come close and just, you know, basically look at how this car is. The shape is good perfect for aerodynamics and uh, right here we have eight, 19 inch alloy wheels it's a 19 inch massive plus you know a bit of profile not really fat but yeah. Yeah. it's good okay. you know for this car of course get perfect ground clearance you know you can cruise in anywhere you want to go in this country with this audi q5 and the fact that it's a four-wheel drive yeah. it's gonna be good okay. and uh, you get turn signals on the side mirror so you know Audi has done a lot to make sure that this car is very premium. So it's a Porsche car, it's a premium car, and everything, even the build material when you touch this, the door handles, you see, it's quite heavy, uh, very premium, and soft touch materials around here. So I love this color white. White is good, and uh, if maybe I was supposed to buy this car, mm -hmm. I'd change the rims, you know, just to paint them to be black. You know, I, <laughs> because, <laughs> well, the, the, the chrome is good, yes. but I mean, I, I, love, I love black, you know, black and white is like that. a panda. <laughs> so in case maybe I buy this car, I'm going to nickname it the panda, yeah. <laughs> because <laughs> black and white, so, okay. and all that. So, yeah. opening up the boot or the tailgate is actually easy, just come here on your key fob, and there's just a button you just press and hold. And also, there's just a button that you just press and again it opens. So, when you look inside, you get a massive, massive storage. And of course, these seats slide down flat and then you get more room. So, you just come and pull this lever and the seats slide flat. Of course, because there's a seat belt in the manner of Django Coyote. But again, you have a, you know, really good lights here, convenient lights. Of course, you get hooks. There's a hooks right here. And when you lift up this first floor, you get a spare tire you know maybe when you get a flat tire and you really need to go somewhere this is a good tire that will at least help you cruise through and help you finish your journey and you see this metal plate here just helps you not to you know rub on the car and just ensure that even when you load in your luggage yeah. um, you're gonna able to do it very easily yeah, and you don't spoil the edge yes yes and as you can see it's quite lower therefore even shorter people can be able to access this yeah. and the closing up the tailgate is easy you, you can use also your key fob or just come right here and there's a button that you just press and the boot wheels on. Now, let us look at the interior. So, right here at the back seat of this car, as you can see, I'm 6'3 and I have enough leg room and headroom and this is a brown leather interior. You know, when you buy an Audi car, of course, you expect to have a leather interior and you get a really good armrest and the, you just press here and you get two cup holders and therefore, maybe when you're traveling with a special someone, you can have your, your your drinks and all that and you know just enjoy life as you cruise and the headdress can, you can also adjust the headdress this is just a lever you pull and you just lift it up and down and also i love these seats because you can always adjust you can recline or go back so the audi q5 really did an amazing job right here so when you are seated at the back you know back left you will be very comfortable and of course as you can see the, the, the mirrors are quite low and therefore you can have a very clear and good view and i just want us to have a look we have air vents 
and uh, you know it's a dual zone therefore the front passengers can set their climate and you people at the back can also receive through these air vents and right about here we have a 12 power volt socket therefore the people at the back can always charge in their phones or even maybe you're trying with children you can just charge in their laptops or their pcs or their game gaming uh, electronic devices as you guys continue cruising on the road let's look at the front seats we have a sliding armrest so depending on your you know height and all that and your preference state so you can always you know uh, just rest your arm as you drive and inside here you get our good storage and there's a 12 volt power outlet inside there and uh, when you close it up you get two good cup holders and as you can see this is wood trim that is actually you know in sync with the brown leather interior that you have here and of course of course you get this really wonderful chrome and uh, on this shelf just slide it and you get also a 12 volt power outlet and a ashtray right there for while those who you know like to get a good smoke and they drive get an ashtray right there and basically i can tell you the build quality inside this audi is perfect it's phenomenal and uh, this is a gear selector it's uh, actually this is an eight speed automatic that is fitted in this car imagine it's got a zf8 hp therefore it's an eight speed gearbox and it also has the tiptronic the tiptronic is basically you can always just shift with your uh, gear right here so it's an aut automatic gearbox with triptonic so you can just come and shift so you just put in and uh, drive maybe on sport more than you know you just shift your gears depending on how you want to do it and audi has done a great job in uh, basically the uh, infotainment system that you get in this car and i just want us to test so i've connected to bluetooth and i've just had one, one of my favorites so we're just gonna test it just for a bit because of uh, the corporate music okay. <laughs> the car and i just want us to look at a few things right here as you can see this is called hill descent assist mm -hmm. so maybe when you're cruising on steepy hills and you just want to you know uh have that really smooth transition just uh, press on this and then the car will actually cruise on itself so you just hold on and control the steering wheel this one is for traction control this one is for parking sensors this one is called auto hold and this is just for selecting the drivers select me just for choosing how you want to drive the different drive modes the dynamic efficiency comfort and all that okay. so auto hold helps you especially when you're driving uh, you know maybe in traffic so when the car comes to a complete stop so you press on the brakes and then you put here yeah, you press on auto hold so the car will reduce power from the engine it will not completely shut off the engine therefore to help you save a lot on fuel and therefore when you release your brakes the car will start up again so it just helps you to save on your fuel and of course get the air conditioner and all that so this is the infotainment system that you get in this car this is the electronic parking brakes that you have engaged so you just come here and you press menu as you can see on our screen you know you just choose using this swivel wheel between uh, navigation radio uh, media info car and all that so basically it's a simple one to use uh the bmw has the best i not lie i love the bmw one is oh, yeah. phenomenal yeah. <laughs> you know the bmw i drive is just top notch and then of course the audi comes next and the mercedes but again you know for the advanced version the M mercedes mbux is just ahead of its game now that's for the 2020 and the, you know the uh, recent versions but for this model the bmw is the best and then followed clearly by the audi so let us to look at uh, the steering wheel as you can see it's fully leather and you get paddle shifters right here so when you're cruising and you just want you know to shift your gears you could just do it through here and you just have the mode where you just choose between audio and all that and all that you can see from our screen right now the last song we were playing was for drake the in my feelings okay. <laughs> playing in my feelings by drake and the audi you know you can always adjust the steering depending on your height so there's a lever that you just pull here and then you just either telescopic or ah. <laughs> you see, you know, in most cars you can just you can just adjust in this manner but now in the audi you can you know push it forward or push it back depending on how you you, you like to drive maybe your perfect driving position but personally i love it up here when i can exactly see the the, the speedometer and then I'd like it to push it a bit in front that you know can just rest my hand here on the armrest and you know just cruise and just listen to some fine music and the wonderful ac and all that and all that so 
it's a really good car and uh, the front passengers of the audi q5 get memory seats therefore three memory settings actually as you can see here oh two memory settings therefore two people can drive this car as you can see this is my driving position and maybe i can just press and then set one and then maybe when my wife or my spouse or anyone wants to use this car maybe it's a family can the two of you use you just come and press two and it will adjust your seat and steering wheel to your preferred position so there are some versions of this car that you get uh, what we call a panoramic sunroof this one we do not have one but we have a two-tone interior so there's a version that you get a panoramic so this car is offered in very many features so depending on where you buy it and how you want it you can always get it configured to you and like in most cars when you get the handbrake so here you just come and just pull this lamp to disengage the parking brakes and then there's a just button you just press and just shift it smoothly to drive and you just start to go so the first thing you notice when you're driving this Audi Q5 is that the steering is very light and therefore it's really easy to maneuver, you know, just maneuver slowly and uh, it's very comfortable in my hand, just the perfect size, um, you know, I'm so comfortable and of course get the massive and great infotainment system so you know just driving and you know just think about life and you think about the covid 19 and you just get some good music from <laughs> i like <Drake>. that man <laughs> i do i do and, you know you just yeah. just maybe you're just thinking about your shamba or your farm or oh, anything and so when you're in this car you're so comfortable <laughs> stress-free and you get very minimum wind and road noise yeah. as you can see you're just cruising normally and uh, there's minimum wind and road noise and the 2000 cc turbocharger bro i tell you this car mm -hmm. when you want to pull so it's a phenomenal car i won't lie uh, it's a really great car and uh, that's, that's why that's why i told you it's one of my favorite because the audi just did a perfect job in driving in in you know basically designing this car and uh, I don't know whether you've realized, but there's uh, this theme of red. There's so much red, especially like you can see right on the infotainment system. Yeah. There's so much red uh, right here to, to uh, you know, to on the light, there's so much red. And also on the door handle, just as you can see, it's red. There's some red, you know, uh, lighting. All right, so because you do not have insurance, and I really do not recommend that you drive a car on the road without insurance. So we're not going to have this car on the road, but I'm just going to show you a few features that you can do with this car. You know, uh, just, just to demonstrate. And you know, of course, if you want the full feature, you can come here at Imports by Cairo, and then they're going to give you a test drive and all that. And they're going to give you one with the insurance. And, uh, you know, even if, if you want to buy, you can always visit, visit them. So there are a few things that I want us to learn. You remember I told you about auto hold? remember so i want to show you how it works so when you're cruising you know you're just driving on the highway and then oh man traffic on thicker road man you know you just want to chill so you just come to you know when when you when the car comes to a complete stop that's when the auto hold engages so tell me what do you feel and like the car just stopped exactly it's like the engine has stopped completely but it has not oh yeah so it just helps you to save on fuel so um when you want to continue you just lift your foot off the brake and the car will start again so listen to this <laughs> ah, man. magical imagine imagine so what? basically that's how the auto hold uh, works and as you can see the germans have really done an amazing job in designing and just ensuring that you have a really smooth transition and a really smooth run when you drive these cars and uh, there's just one more thing that I want to show you, mm -hmm. even as we finish up on this video, yeah. is what you call the hill descent assist. So hill descent assist helps the car to just cruise on its own, especially when you're descending on some steep slopes. Mm -hmm. So maybe when a place that you as a driver, you think that you might not be well, you know, maybe you really do not have the right skills to do that, so the car will just do it for you. So as we're exiting the mall, so just come right here. And uh, really? yes, yeah. So. So there's this button that you just press to engage the hill descent and then you just release your foot on the brake and the car as you see the car is actually controlling the speed itself yeah my leg is not on the foot brake my leg is not on the pedal the car is just yeah. uh, getting downhill on itself it's kind of auto autopilot <laughs> yeah 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 <laughs> yeah you can say that so my, my role is just to control the steering wheel but the car is just cruising on its own so it helps you to so it just feel itself yes exactly so just to disengage just you know just press this or just press the the just press this button to disengage and then you're back then you just continue to cruise on your own 
As you can see right here on the dash, soft touch materials and we have wood trim here with some chrome and you have the word Quattro. As I told you earlier, Quattro means the all-wheel drive of this car. And of course, on uh, it, 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 yeah, there's some storage space right here, of course, the insurance that you get in this car. So Audi did a great job in designing this um, Q5 and because, you know, it's, a, it's my personal favorite and, you know, I told you earlier that it's a 2000cc and uh, get the eight speed gearbox. So when you're cruising in, uh, there's some instances that you get about five liters per hundred kilometers. Can you imagine on the highway? And therefore, uh, when you're traveling to like Migori County, I think it's about 300 or something. Mm -hmm. I, I guess we're well, gonna spend like, um, let's say 3000 in fuel. Imagine, we're gonna spend about 3000 in fuel. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so this is a really affordable car for you to maintain. So I love the fact the eight speed gearbox is so good and helps you a lot in maintaining uh, a really wonderful and steady fuel economy and actually a lot of people can actually maintain this car in terms of fuel ah you're going to be good because you don't really spend a lot and it's going to serve you very very well so thank you so much for joining us on this wonderful review or tour decades wow, so as you're finishing up on this uh, review, I just want you to tell us in the comment section maybe what was your favorite thing that you loved about this Audi Q5. Yeah, we're going to sample them and have a look. So thank you for joining us. See you some other time. Wow, what's up? We are done with the review here in Uchuma. So uh, this is going to be out very soon. Could be today. No, tomorrow in the morning. Tomorrow, Saturday. It's been a great one, man. The first time we were doing a review. <laughs> But it was a success. Thank you. See you later.